Hey everyone, this is Rock, and we are going to be doing a Feed the Beast basics tutorial today. Um, we're moving up to electrical power. Uh, you've probably, I'd say you were playing for two to three days and a few hours a day before you get to this point. Um, because, just because of the amount of rubber you're going to need. You might have, uh, you're going to need refined iron, um, which I'm going to show you how to make that today. Uh, electrical circuits, we're going to learn. And so we're going to start with uh, a generator and an electric uh, furnace today, which I find to be very useful in the beginning, a generator. Uh, towards the middle, though, eh, I don't even use them anymore. But in the beginning, they're nice. So what we're going to do is so we got our iron furnace, we have our regular furnace, which uh, they're both going to be gone soon. And so we're going to start by making a generator. A generator takes an iron furnace, three pieces of refined iron, and an RE battery, a reusable battery. Um, I don't know why it's not letting me pull up the recipe for this. It's kind of weird. Um, this is the recipe. Um, you need a copper cable, which so we'll work our way back. I'm not going to just say, hey, go look it up. No, we're gonna. I'm going to show you each and everything and how to build it. And so you're gonna need a battery, you're gonna need a fine iron, and an iron furnace. Um, we have one of those. So what we're gonna do is so that goes right there. We have refined iron, but let me just show you how to make it real quick. We need three pieces. You put three in here. You put regular iron ingots. Um, oops. What the hell just happened? And you smelt them again. Uh, you re-smelt them, and they turn into. Uh, refined iron. And so that's how you get that. I already have one. And that goes like that. Okay, and now the battery. The battery is probably the most advanced part because you need to be able to make uh, a copper cable, which you'll need rubber for and copper. Um, you'll need redstone and you'll need tin. Okay, sorry about that. I had to take a phone call real quick. Um, so the battery. Uh, you're going to need rubber and copper you need some redstone, you need some tin. So we'll start with the uh, copper cable that needs to be on top. Uh, copper cable uh, in the beginning is just six pieces of rubber. Actually, always, what am I talking about? And three pieces of copper in the middle. Um, it has a ton of uses. We'll look that up. There's tons of different machines that use an electrolyzer, this, and 15 pages of bat boxes, LV transformers. Um, these little batteries, which I have never made because they are just absolutely worthless. A dyno moat, <laughs> which sounds cool, but I haven't used one of those. Uh, I mean, just there are so many things in this mod, but yeah. So the batteries, the uh, circuit boards, a solar helmet, which I, I think is actually pretty fun. Overclockers, energy storage upgrades, tons of stuff, tons and tons of stuff. And it goes to other stuff too. Okay, so we made that. Um, that goes on top of the battery, right here. And to make the actual battery, you'll need redstone and tin. Uh, tin you find out in the world, redstone you do too. You don't break the block, uh, you have to smelt the tin. Redstone you obviously don't. And to make this, it is four pieces of tin on the outer walls, except for the top. So one, two, uh, two pieces of redstone in between those, and a single copper cable on top. You get a RE battery. Okay. And this is how you make a generator, which uh, is pretty important, I believe. Let me sleep real quick. Uh, on the other side of this mountain, if you watched my first two tutorials, I do actually have an entire world that I live in and everything. Uh, so my solar panels start to die if I don't. I don't sleep. Alright, so we'll make a generator real quick which is pretty simple. You just put them in here like this. Battery in the top level, in the center, three pieces of refined iron, and iron furnace in the center. Uh, that gives you a generator. Uh, generators are pretty fun. Let's knock this out. I haven't used an actual pick in so long. Uh, this Feed the Beast mod is extremely fun. Uh, I've learned so much, and it just adds so much to this game. Uh, we're going to put the generator right here. So this is how a generator works. You put coal in here, and it provides power. 
Um, two, you could put batteries in here, bring them, and uh, use it like that. Um, right this second, it is. it does nothing for you. Do I have anything that needs some power? Yeah, we'll put this in here. I can't even put it in here. It takes too much power. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything I think I could put in here. Oh, my drill, but I mean, it's fully powered. So, took a little power off of him. You put him in here. You can put uh, a lot of different things, and it'll, it'll charge him back up. Um, very useful, very handy. Uh, even it'll even store a little power, as you can see, which is nice. Not much of a storage, I don't believe. Uh, these only produce 750 EU energy units, 750 energy units, which um, we'll get into later. That's kind of complicated. Uh, but so, what do you use this for? Um, you use it for macerators, extractors, electric furnaces, industrial centrifuges, anything that runs recyclers, anything that runs on power, electrical engines. Quarries. I could, I could keep naming things. So what we need, because now we have this nice electric, this nice generator, is an electric furnace, which we'll need another furnace for, and one of these bad boys, an electrical circuit, and we'll learn how to make one of those. So first, let's, we've already made one of these before, so let's just make one real quick. I use the cobble recipe, make this, two on each side, one on the top, make one of these. Um, and then these. I need a little more copper cable. So, what you need with this is you need this, two pieces of redstone, obviously that's all easy. The next is an electrical circuit. Um, a lot of machines call for electrical circuits. They, I guess, technically are the computer chip that runs the electricity, if you want to look at it that way. Um, there, there's a lot of recipes, as you can see, and each one makes more than the other. Uh, once you get to Electrum ingots, this is how I make mine, because uh, you get more for your buck, you get more bang for your buck. Uh, once you get an obscene amount of aluminum, which aluminum becomes very useful, uh, very free, so then you use that. But for now, we use refined iron, copper cable, and redstone. Um, so you put it in here, three on top, three on bottom, copper cable, a piece of redstone on each in each corner, and of course, I don't have find iron on me. Two redstone. Let's say it all over again. Six copper cables. They go on the outer rim. And then a piece of refined iron goes in the center. This is how you make your electrical circuit. Now, you put that there. Your iron furnace in the middle. And like that. Bam. You have an electrical furnace. As far as I know, if they're touching, see, yep, instantly charges it. So this is your charge bar. As far as I know, too, you can put oh, probably only batteries. That makes sense. So now this guy, you put some coal in here. We'll charge this, and now this works as your your furnace. Uh, at this point, it's not that much more efficient because you still need to power it with coal. But once you get to a point where uh, you're using water mills or windmills, uh, you know, all this water right here, you can use water mills. You can use it like that. For now, that's its, that's its use. That's all it's good for. And since we're here, and we've already talked about a generator and the iron furnace, and I have a little time left, we're going to do a macerator as well which is easy as you can see you just need flint cobble a machine block and an electrical circuit so you've already learned the electrical circuit flint comes from gravel i'm sure you already know cobble comes from stone you obviously know now the machine block uh, machine block a lot of the industrial craft machines require a machine block to to make them it is eight pieces of refined iron in a box form like a chest you get one machine block so let's make one of those real quick. Uh, we'll make another circuit real quick. As you obviously, as you're watching this, you can you run through materials quite quite quick. Uh, look at how much copper and 
rubber I've already used, just just making a few little machines. I keep forgetting I don't have a refined iron. Uh, the Macerator is my favorite machine in the game because it just gives you so much. It literally doubles all the ores you get, which is great. You know, it makes makes life better for you. Che yeah, cheaper, I guess you'd say too. Uh, so you need a uh, an electrical circuit. Do you need one? Yep. Machine block, some flint, and some cobble. I do not have any flint with me. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I have a good amount of flint at home, so I just grabbed it. Uh, so let's make one real quick. Uh, I need the flint on the top, which kind of look like blades that it's macerating your ores that you put in it. Uh, the macerate is used for pretty much on every ore. Uh, if you soap touch redstone, you get 10 pieces if you put it in a macerator. A macerator is just a great machine. Uh, same thing with lapis. You get a ton of that. And that's how you make it. Three pieces of flint on top, a cobble on each side of this machine block in the center. And the machine block is the eight refined iron in a circle and an electrical circuit. You get a macerator. Macerators are great. Um, I guess I should have put the furnace in the center. But that's what we had these cables for. So we take so since they're not next to each other, it won't charge it the same way these charged each other. Well this charged this. As you can see, this doesn't have a charge. So what you do is you use the, the cable you've been using, the copper cable, and you connect them. So you have the generator to the electric to this. So you see it instantly start to charge. This is a very weak setup, obviously, but in the beginning this is great. You know, all of a sudden you have this macerator that let me show you what it does. That's annoying. Get that over. We got copper, we got an iron, we got tin. What you do is you put it in here. It is it's a very slow machine. Uh, it takes a ton of power, in my opinion. It's gonna just drain this guy dry. But you get we'll just throw another piece of coal in there. You get two. So now you have these two pieces of copper dust. You turn that one copper piece that you would have put into a furnace and gotten one uh, copper ingot out of, and turn it into two pieces of copper dust. What you do with the dust now is you put it in that electric furnace. What this does is smelts down into copper ingots. So for every piece of iron ore you pick up, or SE iron, same thing, and you put them in here now, it turns them into ingots. So you get double for every one. It's a fantastic machine, well worth it. Turns everything into the dust. It turns that into iron ingots. Turns this into tin dust, and so on and so forth. Great machine. I love it. And uh, so, in this tutorial, what do we go through? We went through a uh, generator. Uh, we learned the electric furnace too, right? And the macerator. Three great machines. Three easy to build, easy to make, to obtain in the in the beginning of the game. Um, so that's that's that. That's this tutorial. Uh, this is episode three, I believe. Um, I hope you guys. I hope they are enjoyed. I hope you guys want more. And since we're at this point in stage, um, and I have to think about what I did next, so I can't really tell you. I'm pretty sure I went to um, energy next because generators just they don't cut it long enough. But for the beginning of the game, it's pretty pretty fantastic. Um, this has been Rock. I hope you enjoyed these, and I hope to see you soon. Uh, have a good day.